Guys, I have made a very grave mistake. I done fucked up really, really bad. So, my last video, my top 10 worst weapons, I completely forgot to add this monstrosity. This terrible weapon right here, the Dragon Great Claw. I don't know how I forgot about this thing. Nobody even mentioned it in the comments as well, which is very surprising. But this thing is so bad. It definitely deserves to be at least top three worst weapons in the entire game. So, unfortunately, we didn't actually add it to the list. So, instead, we're actually going to talk about it in our different series, using bad weapons until they actually get buffed. Um, but this thing is a colossal weapon directly off the Draconic Tree Sentinel, which is a boss that gets a bunch of really cool lightning attacks. But for whatever reason, this thing cannot be buffed nor infused, and its Ash of War is Endure. Oh my god! Why? Gets split lightning damage as well. And I don't understand, this thing gets a quality scaling for a Colossal Weapon. 30 strength requirement, but it actually scales better with dexterity than strength. I actually went and did the math. This is actually the perfect damage split to actually maximize your damage with having 54 dexterity and 43 strength. It's like, why does it scale better with dexterity? Why doesn't it have a unique Ash of War? I have no idea what the hell this thing is supposed to be. It's like they actually gave up halfway and this completely forgot the weapon exists. Kind of like what I did, honestly. But what we're gonna do instead is actually um take this bad boy into PvP and see how well it actually performs and probably complain the entire time. Okay, I know this is gonna go very well. No way we're gonna lose a single game with this bad boy weapon right quick. Just don't dodge and I'll be perfectly fine. But yeah, Colossal Weapons are just very terrible in PvP. They just get no quick attacks at all. And obviously they're very, very slow and Poison this game is just an absolute joke. It's literally like the worst it's ever been. That's a great start. I just didn't dodge there. Anyway, as I was saying, Poison is a straight up trash in this game. You get like staggered by a couple of light attacks from a dagger. It's like that ridiculous. I have 101 Poison at the moment, so keep that in mind as I'm about to get staggered by every single attack known to man. And then the dual, oh my god, the dual great spear of crouching attacks, oh my god, this is so great. Like, you see the weapon I have in my hand, you don't have to go that hard, bro. Like, honestly. That's okay, though. What can I expect? But this thing actually does have Endure, so it is a nice counter. And Endure is a pretty decent Ash of War. And why do I even try? Anyway, as I was saying, Endure, actually not that bad. It only lasts, like, about a few seconds, so people tend to just, like, walk away when they do use it. But if you... Do use it when people tend to be a bit more aggressive, it does work out relatively well. Because, um, yeah, the poison is not good. So Endure is a decent counter. But, um, in terms of PB, did I just miss? What? I don't know, dude. Anyway. But in PvE, I wouldn't ever bother using Endure at all. Um, you're just better off using, like, a damage-based Ashes of War, because uh, Ashes of War do, like, very decent damage, um... So I don't really care much for Endure in general. This thing definitely needed a unique Ash War. I don't know why. Like, the Draconic Trace Sentinel gets like a thousand different... I got staggered there? How? Anyway, I would just like to win a singular game. Oh, I'm not winning this one. Oh my god. Why is it like the same different types of builds every single time? <laughs> oh my god, there's no variety in this game anymore. At least you get a decent amount of hype armor. Oh, and quick step as well. But anyway, as I was saying, I don't know why this thing does not get a unique Ash War. Oh, the Roll Catch? Nice. Full of bull great set. This is actually a joke. Nice. That's fine. That's fine. That's really fine. That's really fine. I just love how he can do so much damage so quickly. And then my entire fucking light attack combo that literally takes like 25 years to actually come out does like half of the amount of damage. That's really cool. Thank you, game. Oh my god. I swear to god, if this is another poking attack build. Okay, good. We're fine. That's okay. Anyway, as I was saying. The Draconic Trace Sentinel gets a thousand different types of lightning attacks, and we couldn't get a single one of them. Why? Is this a Claymore? Doesn't look like it. No, it's a Night Sword. That's okay. Why isn't he using it two-handed? It gets a cool light attack combo. Delayed attacks? Oh, nice. I like playing bad players. It's so much more fun. Makes bad weapons actually seem not bad. Oh, it's great. The rolling attack? It's so terrible. Why did I not scrap this rolling attack? It's been there for like how many games now? Okay, but if I was to change this weapon, other than the Ash of War, is there only like three people playing this game? What's going on here? I'd definitely make it scale a lot better off strength, like honestly. The fact that it gets a better dexterity scaling, even though it's a strength based weapon, doesn't really make any sense. Like a 30, like I don't know. And quality based weapons are just kind of ass in general, so. The rolling, oh, it's fine. That's okay. But this is like another lightning based weapon that doesn't really get a faith scaling, which is kind of unfortunate. Hopefully the DLC does add like a faith based lightning weapon. That'd be really cool because we don't have a single one at the moment. And lightning's kind of like in a weird place where it doesn't really have like an identity at all. Or a particular stat that it's actually supposed to be corresponded with. I don't know. 
damn. Finally a hit. I'm trying to hit with this colossal weapon like challenge impossible, man. Thankfully my 101 poise um, is actually giving me decent high promo. So I don't actually have to use Endure. Unless I go up against like another colossal weapon or colossal sword. I can take that attack though. Nice. Maybe this weapon's not that bad after all. Who knows? Nah, it's fine. Just because I get a win with it doesn't mean it's actually good, right? You can use any other colossal weapon and just use Endure. It promises me the exact same thing and it probably end up doing more damage as well. Endure? Damn, it tanks a lot. I should use Endure more often. If I can actually hit with something. Probably not with a colossal weapon though. It'd be cool if like the starting animation of Endure actually did stagger though. To make it like guaranteed with the next light attack. That'd be okay. See, it, does, it has no hitbox. That's so unfortunate. That's okay. Follow up. Do it again. Delayed attack. No stamina. That's fine. Running it. Oh, that's not a running attack. I can win this. Nice. The Phantom Ranger never expects it. Also, another weird thing about this weapon. It's a claw, but it doesn't get piercing damage. It just gets regular standing damage. I just realized that. Another reason as to why this thing is actually dog shit. Oh my god. Bro. Why no piercing damage? It actually would make it not that bad. I'm just gonna have to wait and try and let's trade out with him. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bro, it's like not... It's patch 1.09. It's not patch 1.03. Come on now. I think I nerfed to the ground. I really wish I had a stagger. Oh my god, no, no vigor Andy right here. Come on, right into it. Anyone that's going to be passive is just like the bane of my existence. I just have no patience whatsoever. Which is why I just hate using larger weapons in general. That's okay. I just spam running attacks. I just don't know why Colossal Weapons didn't really get an increase to their speed in their moveset. Like all the other weapons did, but that's fine. Okay, we'll probably do a couple more games and see how it goes. Oh, a quick step and a thrusting sword and fucking a cold infusion. But if he actually doesn't dodge, that'd be great. Go for the back step. I love this game so much. I love this game. Like, literally 10 out of 10. I feel like they should add, like, way more Pokemon weapons. I feel like they should make the Pokemon weapons quicker in this game. Honestly, I don't think they're quick enough. I didn't think they're quick enough. Okay, let's do one last game, see how it goes. Hopefully it's not completely toxic. Anyway, um, by the time this video is out, I should actually be live on Twitch. So definitely do check me out there. Not sure what I'll be doing. Probably PvP. Well, no. Who knows? Actually, with how these games have been going, probably not. <laughs> probably not. But if you guys do like to see me complain, then definitely check me out on Twitch, because I do a bunch of complaining there, especially when I'm doing PvP. This guy's actually getting the perfect block off. I think he's trying to practice. Too bad doesn't know how to dodge. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it for this one. Yes, this weapon does suck. As always, please do like and subscribe, and do follow me on Twitch as well. But yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.